Is your significant other grossed out by your incessant flatulence? Is it destroying your work or interpersonal relationships? If so, then buckle up your seatbelt and put on your gas mask. It's time to talk about farts. Hey guys, Tara here for DNews, and if you're the type of person who refuses to fart in front of your significant other, you are not alone. Personally, it weirds me the hell out, and I refuse to do it. But I've always wondered, is holding them in actually bad for your health? Let's examine the evidence, but first, a little background. What is a fart? Well, essentially, it's air that's trapped inside of your body. Some of it is caused by the food we eat, some of it is residual air that we've accidentally swallowed, and the rest is gas that gets produced by the bacteria in our guts. Now, typically, farts are made up of mostly nitrogen, as well as hydrogen, carbon dioxide, oxygen, and methane, although many studies claim that only about a third of people actually produce methane in their farts. All farts, however, contain trace amounts of something called mercaptans and hydrogen sulfide gas, and it's that sulfur that makes your farts smell, which is why when you eat foods that are rich in sulfur, like meat, cabbage, cheese, cauliflower, or eggs, your farts smell way worse. Maybe you've noticed that. Egg farts are a very real phenomenon, guys. Now let's get some things out of the way. Men and women fart on average about a half a liter of gas a day, and yes, women fart just as much as men. As much as we try to deny it, it's true. So is holding them in bad for you? Well, yes and no. It's not gonna kill you, but it will make you uncomfortable and it can exacerbate certain health issues. When we hold farts in, the gas retreats back into our body and gets absorbed into the intestinal walls where it eventually mixes in with our blood. At best, that can cause bloating, abdominal pain, and constipation, but if you do it repeatedly, it can lead to a distended bowel or even hemorrhoids caused by frequent clenching. The good news is, even if you do hold your farts in, they will eventually escape, and more than likely, it'll be when you're asleep, which is when your body is in its most relaxed state. If you're worried you may be farting too much, there are some things you can do to mitigate that. First of all, pay close attention to what you eat. Sulfur-rich foods will make your farts smell worse, but they won't affect the frequency or volume of them. What does affect that are foods that are rich in carbohydrates, which the body has a hard time breaking down. Things like beans, potatoes, oats, broccoli, cauliflower. Those are all big gas inducers, so try limiting them if you're having problems. It's also important to be conscious of how you're eating your food. If you're the type of person who just inhales your food without fully chewing it, then you're introducing a lot of air into your body, which can cause gas. So try eating more slowly, chewing with your mouth closed, and don't gulp any liquids, especially soda, since that already causes more gas than normal. Even habits that don't involve eating, like chewing gum or sucking on candy or smoking, can introduce air as well, so definitely avoid those if you're feeling extra flatulent. And if you are a person who farts excessively, maybe you can take comfort in knowing that two people have actually made a living off of their own flatulence, which is terrible, but also insanely impressive. You can hear all about them in this week's episode of Anywho, which showcases five of the world's most famous farters. Internet television, everyone. In the meantime, if you have any questions, comments, funny fart stories you want to share with the class, just leave them down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.